welcome or welcome back to Budgets and Dreams. My name's Jen and me and my family have just recently paid off £28,000 worth of debt. It is so very exciting and it does feel so very, 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 very nice. <laughs> um, I hope you have all had an amazing week. Excuse me one sec, I need to clear my throat. I hope you have all had an amazing week. Um, so we are back very quickly after the last one for another post-debt cash stuffing, post-debt cash stuffing number two. Um, I do actually have the iPad with me today, so we will be doing a bit of hypergel. Um, before I get stuck in though, let's have a look at the affirmation. So last week's affirmation, although just for a brief time, was I choose to focus on positivity every day. And um, my friend, my dearest friend who I've mentioned before, had to remind me of this because I was being a right grump one day. <laughs> um, but it really worked and she got me to focus on the positive things that I have going on in my life and I am very grateful to her. Speaking of her, she actually um, gave me some goodies uh, to celebrate um, paying off the debt. And I also got a lovely card from the beautiful Jo Weir. So I will show those off at one point. I just forgot to grab them, but I will show them. So this week's affirmation, I will stay true to my values and beliefs no matter what. Cool. I will stay true to my values and beliefs no matter what. I like that. That's an interesting one. I'm trying to wonder if, if, if I have ever not. <laughs> Not sure that I have. Um, but if you don't live true to your values and beliefs, um, then do. <laughs> cool. Let's pop that there. Lovely. Right. So should we have a look at Hyperjar before we start playing with this lovely, lovely cash? Cool. So here is Hyperjar in all its new arrangement, which is very exciting. So let's grab a pen. Have an elephant. Elephantastic. So in the wallet, we have 105, which we will be distributing in a mo. Um, but I just want to talk you through a couple of the new jars that we've got in here. So we've got Fun, which currently has £140 in it. So the idea with Fun is every four weeks, I'm going to top this jar up to a maximum of £200. And then that will be our family fun slash time for us money for the entirety of that four week period. Um, so that's got a maximum top up of 200. And then I've also got home, which every four weeks will have a maximum top up to 100. And that is for all of our toiletries and cleaning products. And if we wanna buy any luxuries for the house, like some reed diffusers or ornaments, not that we buy anything for the house really it is what it is. <laughs> um, but that will be topped up to 100. So between the two, technically, if they were both down at zero, they would need to be topped up by a combined amount of 300 but I'm going to cap it at 200. That is my budget for topping up these two jars each time we get through my husband's four week pay cycle. I hope that made sense. If it didn't, then do ask me some questions. Um, I've also got a new rollover jar. I don't think I'm gonna use this, but in fairness, it just fills out my hyper jar screen nicer. So <laughs> it's staying. Um, other than that, we've got the usual groceries, which the budget has been put up from 90 to 100. And what's super exciting is that groceries no, no longer has to include things like toiletries and cleaning products and loo roll because that's all in home so that's really cool so we've got more money for groceries which is lovely which is probably why we have a couple of quid left uh so what i'm going to do i'm going to move that 248 over to ice cream i'm going to put 100 into groceries and five into italy so i'll be back in a jiff there we go so that is all done um so um oh the pennies what am i going to do about the pennies do i want to tidy them off every week as well why not? I'm going to move these uh, that 20p into ice cream and that 88p into ice cream as well. One sec. Cool. There we go then. So fun has 140. Groceries has 100. Home has 37. Ice cream is now on a whopping 641. And Italy is on 865. Can you believe it? <laughs> I really, really can't. That's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about the new Hyperjar idea. So that's fun having a budget for four weeks. And the reason why it's so much, by the way, a max of 200, that is so that we can have a bit of spontaneity in our lives. So obviously we've been through this whole debt repayment journey and I just felt like being limited to like 50 quid, say a week, and then putting the rollover into challenges or something like that was just gonna feel too restrictive. So with this, with it being a max of 200, um, it means that if it's sunny outside, we've got nothing else on, we can just say, hey, wanna go to the beach? And we can just go. And that is the idea of fun. And then similarly with home, if it's like, hey, I would really like a new lamp for the garden. <laughs> I'm looking at a lamp in the garden, <laughs> um, then we can just go and do that. Um, and it's money that we are prepared to spend. And yeah, it just it just feels nice to have some money that we can just go and spend if we want to. Um, so that's at least how it's gonna be for the next six months. 
Anyway, that's enough for footage about Hyperjar. Oh, one last thing about Hyperjar. I finally have been given a Hyperjar referral code. I have been waiting years to get one of these. <laughs> so there is a link in the description for Hyperjar referral. Um, there's lots of terms and conditions that go alongside it. So please check and read those. Um, but as long as like T's and C's are satisfied, then you get five pounds and full disclosure, I get 10. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in Hyperjar, you're thinking about doing it anyway, you fancy a free fiver, have a look at the link in the description. Cool, so that is it for for iPad stuff, no budget, but the budget will be coming in the next week or two. So let's move on and play with some real cash monies. Cool, so we have got, ooh, I think 145. I had to do a bit of last minute juggling, uh, which I'll explain in a sec. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, sorry, 165. Uh, that's 20 quid, so 165. 145 in cash, 20 in coins. I've got too many coins, um, but that's the way it is this week. <laughs> right, so boring binder first. And also, I am not sure how I feel about having my envelopes this way. I thought it would be better, but yeah, I just, I don't think I can cope. Um, so there's £10 in cash that will be gone the next time you see um, me because Oscar needs a haircut. So I'm going to use that £10 and then the £10 that will be in O stuff shortly. Uh, fuel is getting 40 quid. So we knew there's 120 from last week, so now there is 160, and we have actually spent that 120. I thought that we hadn't, but the credit card just took ages. So there's 160 in fuel ready for the bill. The bill should come in around the 15th. Um, fuel. So I accidentally put £10 in here last week, and I wasn't meant to, which is where my budget went a bit wrong. Um, so it's staying as it is. So there's 80 quid in fuel at the moment. I also told a lie and said it was 57 every month, but it's not. It's 57 every seven weeks because <laughs> it likes to be awkward um car is getting 20 quid so it now has 40 so this is a car conglomerate so it is insurance service maintenance tires mot it's everything at the moment um next year i might split stuff out when we've got maybe some more flexibility but yeah at the moment just car emergency we're skipping again this week health we topped up nicely last week there's 20 quid in there no changes for help to buy and phones are not a priority at the moment. So that's the boring binder. So Oscar's binder, <laughs> still haven't done one. His birthday has £200 in the bank. Clothes has £100 in the bank, just like that. Um, clubs, what are you getting? Clubs is getting 20 quid. Sorry, I'm looking at my phone for my uh, cheat sheet and it's got the blooming auto lock on. Uh, so 40 quid for clubs. Uh, future, not the minute, not the minute. Stuff is getting five pounds and that will top up the bit that's in cash to get him his haircut. School has, uh, I don't know, 20 quid and is not getting anything this week. So just the 20 quid in there. Back to school has 200 in the bank and summer holidays has 300 in the bank and we're not topping those up at the minute. So that's that for Oscar's one. Go oh, rattling through these. Right then, so the fun binder, the binder with all the good stuff in. I've had a bit of a juggle around in here as well because it didn't quite work for me last week. So birthdays is getting £10 and this is for family birthdays, including my birthday. Oscar's birthday, I will save for separately and Ben's birthday is involved in the Christmas birthdays savings. Um, so yeah, so first £10 in there, which is cool. Christmas, we are not stuffing this week. Either of those. Holiday, that's not getting done this week whilst we're on this tighter budget this month. Clothes is getting £10. So there is now 30 in there. And then Friends is getting nothing. I only had coins. Oh no, Friends is getting actual cash, but not today. Yeah, not today. <laughs> um, fun, I didn't have any notes left over from last week because I took all of those coins with me at the end of the last video. So nothing for fun. Hair. Right, story about hair. So I was going to put 50 quid in here this week. Um, that was 40 quid that I planned to put in plus the £10 that I took out last week because I accidentally stuffed fuel. <laughs> but um, my hairdresser's managed to sneak me in for a little cheeky appointment. Um, so I'm not going to stuff it today uh, because I'll need it to pay her later. <laughs> So long story short, hair is not getting stuffed. <laughs> right, savings, roll it up. Where did I put it? I put it here. Okay, cool, right, we're here. <laughs> Honestly, it's gonna take me so long to get used to this. Let's move that over there. Right, roll it up. We have got 20 quid for roll it up. And why have I got like, all this money? This isn't right. <laughs> One sec, let me figure out what I've done again. I know what I missed and it's super exciting as well. 
passports. Ah, I can't believe I forgot about this. So I'm putting £25 into here today. Oh, I'm so excited. So this is like step one of being able to go on holiday getting passports. So this is just like so, so very exciting. We do have passports, but they expired. Um, so 25 is going in. So we've got 30 in there now, um, but we're doing Oscar's passport first. So, oh, do I colour them in because it's all exciting? Yeah. What colour? What colour? What colour? Ah, um, let's go with this colour. So, what did I say we're putting in? 30. So we'll colour in all three of these tens. I'm not going to do it in a fancy way. I'm just going to shade them out. Ah, <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> so we've got 30 quid safe for passports now. Oh, I'm tipping, yeah. <laughs> the joys. What a simple pleasure, hey? <laughs> This is a much nicer feeling than accidentally spending 30 quid on something rubbish that I don't need on Amazon. Uh, so uh, that's it, 30. Do I need that tenner? Should I use that tenner? I might use that tenner just in case. Um, so 30 quid for passports. Oh, love it. So that is that. I can't believe I forgot about that. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, right. So yes, this money makes sense. This money makes sense. Lovely. Right. So we were on to savings. We were on to roll it up. So we have got £20, which is these three fivers and one chunk of these five pound, these five pound towers <laughs> down here. I am actually going to roll two dice because I'm dangerous. So <laughs> let's do it. Four and one is five. Uh, pen? What pen? Purple. So we'll cross off five. So five is going into roll it up. Let's grab this back. So five into here. And then that means I've got, oh, do you know what, actually, so that I can maybe put something into fun, I'm going to put the five into floss. So she is coinage. So that's her five in there. So it has gone into roll it up. Roll it up is notes and savings, coins and floss. So that five's gone in, which is lovely. So I've got £15 left for my spending for the week slash don't spend it so I can save up for better fun. So that uh, 20 quid, let's just pretend that's 15. Let's pretend that 15 isn't there for the minute. So this 15 pounds is for challenges and you know where it's going. I am going straight, it, oh, we need to take this off. <laughs> I promise this will become more of a routine soon. <laughs> so another 10 into Italy. And sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background, it's a bit loud. So we are totally going to knock out nine. We've got 15 pounds and then extra if I need it. So let's have a play. I might get to do more than one challenge today. That would be exciting. Right, so two dice. Let's go. Seven. Bosh. Love it. Right. Uh, six. Ten. That is so loud. Uh, we'll do the nine and the one. That's better. Seven. Uh, ooh, five and two or three and four. <laughs> Let's do five and two. And eight. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, I thought I was going to be seven. Oh, but it is a four. Oh, I should have rolled just one dice, shouldn't I? Never mind. Let's try this. Nope. <laughs> so three pounds for knockout nine. I am so tempted to do another one. Um, but why is that a 20 pound note there? Oh, because I condensed it. That's why. Um, so... Three pounds for knockout nine. Very tempted on doing another one, but I actually do want to do more challenges today because they're fun. In case you didn't know, challenges are fun. <laughs> I, when I was on a tight budget, I didn't understand why everybody did so many challenges, but I get it now. <laughs> so let's do save off, please. Oh, and anyone who noticed that I um, didn't put the right money into knockout nine last week, I did fix it. So save off, please. We are on tickets to save town. We have got 12 pounds left in our bonus budget. So six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, save what you like. I will do that. I'm gonna chuck a whole five pounds into here because I can. There we go. Um, you might notice with the challenges that I condense off camera quite frequently and that's just because having coins is just annoying. Uh, so tortoise and hare, the next one is five pounds. So it looks like we'll be stopping there. Oh, do I wanna do that though? I don't have to do the next one, do I? Because I wanna do jelly bean. Oh, I really want to do... Right, tortoise and hare is going to wait because I really want to do jelly beans. So, number four is purple and that is two. 
I love this so much. This is my favourite. This is from, it's not my favourite, that's not fair or true. They're all my favourites. <laughs> um, I got this from, um, why can't I? I've done that before, Freya. I'm so sorry. Uh, from Budgie Budget. Um, and yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, two is blue and that is also two. And then I am going to stop because then that gives us three pounds for a little bit of cheeky bonus. Uh, oh, what blue do I use? Should I use this one? Oh, that's a very bright blue. There we go. Lashes. That was fun. Uh, oh, yeah, these go into my jelly bean bag. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being really daft today. So £2 in there. There's already loads of coins in there, but we won't count it up just yet. Cool. Happy days. Right then, so £15 is going into my purse, which is very exciting. Uh, and next, cheeky bonus. So we've got three pounds. Let's see where this is going today. Three is me. Oh, I don't have any change. Hang on, let me do. Oh, that was silly. Oh, well, I did have change. <laughs> One day my brain will be able to keep up with itself and that day will be a good day. <laughs> right, five is charity. And the last one is Ben. There we go. Lovely. So that is that. Oscar doesn't have anything, bless him. Ben has three. I have one. Oscar's future is still empty at the moment. Charity has eight. I should do something with that. And Gifts has four. So that is it for Cheeky Bonus. Right, so that is everything. All done, all stuffed. Lovely jubbly. I hope it was all okay. I will get used to it all at some point. <laughs> Um, but thanks so much for watching again. I really appreciate it. And thank you very much for all of the comments on the last video too. It was really lovely to see you all sort of celebrating this next part of our journey, <laughs> I guess. So thank you. It means a lot. So this week's affirmation, I will stay true to my values and beliefs no matter what. And please do because, yeah, you're kind of lying to yourself, aren't you, if you don't? So anyway, that might be a bit blunt, but it's kind of true. <laughs> Anyway, have an amazing week. And if you're watching this pre-football, um, have fun on Sunday. And if you're watching this post-football, insert emotion here. <laughs> have an amazing week, everyone. And I will see you next Friday. Bye. Bye.